Brown's residence today overlooking the Gulf of Mexico. And we're going to work on some sliding glass doors that we repaired not too long ago. we got a few more to work on. What are you doing today, John? Well, we're, we're over here at the high rise at the Brighton. We had some erosion on these doors. And um, as you can see, the wheels are needing to bad, badly need repair or replace. In this case, we can't repair them. So we're going to go ahead and dig them out. Some of them cooperate. I see the bottom one's already been removed, <laughs> thanks to my partner. And uh, we're working on the top. So right now, I've got a screw that will come out. But I'm going to jump back in a little while and we'll show you the progress. All right. We, uh, had a problem with this screw here, so we actually drilled the head off, and that's what's wrong with it. <laughs> so Rusted gonna, it. Yes, sir. So what we're going to do, we had to drill the head off to get that out. What we're going to do is we're going to replace it with a nice shiny new one. And hopefully it's got plenty of life on them, and uh, we'll put brand new wheels in there. Like that. So we kept the replacement screws right here. Well, I had them right there. Okay, put them on. And this door's almost fixed. Now, for the top one, since the metal's erosion and broke, we're going to retro it by putting a couple of self tapping screws on the side of the wheels. Right there and right there. And I'll make sure it stays where it belongs. Okay, it wasn't easy, but we got the door back in. Felix, if you go ahead and let me see how good it works now. And that's, uh, is that with adjustments on no, the wheel? That's, that's without adjustment. We're going to put in the other door, then we'll adjust both of them even. Okay, so it's rolling nice and smooth now, sir. How big are these doors? About 8 feet, right? I think 10 feet. 10 feet? Okay, so well, now we got this one to do, which of course is going to be a lot tougher because it's a stationary door. Let's do it. All right, John. These um, looks like these screws didn't want to cooperate. Yeah, we're drilling the heads out. They went out back out of there, so the rusty corrosion just froze, froze the screw solid. We remove the heads and put the self tappers in when we're finished. Retrofitting. Okay, so you uh, you drilled the heads off them because they didn't want. Yeah, see, obviously you can see the rest of the screw still in the screw hole there. But this is this set mechanism is a goner, so we had to get it out one way or the other. But I'll put the new one in, and we're gonna put some soft tap screws in there. So you're marking it so you won't hit the wheels when you put the self tappers in, John? Absolutely. Uh, Need to come up an inch, three sixteenths. We already figured it out. So I'm gonna put in the self-tapping screw. It doesn't interfere with the working parts of the uh, of the roller assembly. So once that's marked, I'm able to. Now once it goes through the aluminum, we wanna just slightly shim it out. Or stabilize it. And you can see why. Yep. Don't you don't get a problem. Just go ahead and come over right here. And so then you get it in there. A little white on it. And it didn't interfere with the rolling parts. That's what we want. <laughs> okay. So the doors are installed? Yeah, we got them back in there. It's a battle because it, there's just hardly any clearance up there. So. We did not have to remove all the track, luckily. And we did get it back in. Brand new wheels. Rolls nicely now and it'll last a long time again. I don't know how long the first one's lasted. But the Browns now have new uh, roller assemblies on these doors and we're looking good. Another satisfied customer. Good deal.